Sorry. Meanwhile, it's all eyes on our earnings tomorrow. We've got 30 seconds on the clock for each of our next guests. Our guests are here to tell us what else we should be watching for. And I'm joined right now by Chris Hobart from Hobart Financial Group, Adam Hewison from I know.com, and back with us, Michael Underhill from Capital Innovations. Gentlemen, good to see you all. Chris, you're up first. 30 seconds on the clock. What do you want to be prepared for for tomorrow? Well, thanks, Maria. Really, what we're watching is going to be the housing market index number. We're expecting something between about 48 and 52. Anything north of 50 is going to be positive, showing some good optimism. Anything south of 50 is going to show a little softening in that market, perhaps related to Bernanke's comments over the past couple of months. The other thing with earnings coming up, we're looking at financials, keeping a strong eye on that. The past year has been very strong for financials, looking at about 21.3% uh, increase in values there. Uh, in particular, Goldman Sachs is going to be reporting. We're expecting about 2.82 for earnings per share. Anything above that would be a nice kick. Anything lower, bad. All right, we'll leave it there. Adam, 30 seconds on the clock. You're up now. What do you want to be prepared for for tomorrow? Looking for Netflix, Amazon, Apple, and also Wells Fargo. They're the four markets we like. Amazon, because it's a juggernaut, it's going to keep going higher regardless of what happens to the economy. Also, the Fed is really wimpy now. We've got three things here. We've got the perception, the technicals, and also pent-up demand for stocks from the retail investor who hasn't even gotten in the market yet, in my opinion. So I think we'll see more of that. And they're going to go into Amazon, Netflix, which is great home entertainment for everybody. And Apple is a sneak-up party here. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Michael, you are up. 30 seconds on the clock. What do you want to be uh, ready for tomorrow? I'm taking a look at two things, Maria. When I look at uh, stocks like Packaging Corp of America, it's going to kick off earnings tomorrow. It's going to be an earnings season for packaging names. We're looking at earnings forecast where our belief is going to, going to see about 30% increase in earnings. It's a great company. You see the stock strength has been exhibited in past price. You're going to see that continued strength, that dominance, commodity price throughput. It's a great stock in terms of its ability to generate yield north of 3% dividend yield. This is going to be a shotgun start to packaging names, all of the other names that are going to rally in July. The other thing is Leap Wireless. You're going to see a counter bid to tomorrow from T-Mobile. Things like that are going to push stocks higher. Wow. Counter bid from T-Mobile. Stuck your neck out on that one. We'll be watching for it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, we appreciate it. Thank Up you. next, so are they hot or not? My thoughts on recently battered emerging markets. That's next. Delivering Alpha. I'm going to be sitting down with Carl Icahn, and the timing couldn't be better. Our conversation comes just one day ahead of the Dell shareholder vote. So who knows what he's going to have to say? I think people will get a really good idea of what makes Carl Icahn tick. Icahn, Pelz, Lou, Paulson, Parara, and more at the biggest.